Hey, welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're gonna do problem 238, okay? So it, it says, express each of the three forces acting on the support in Cartesian vector, in, in Cartesian vector form, and determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction, measure clockwise from positive to x-axis. Okay, so we got three forces of a one, which is 50, Newtons and they're describing us by uh, a triangle, five, four, and three. Uh, we got a force F of two with 80 Newtons. They are describing us with uh, with the angle F of three equals to 30 Newtons. And it's completely straight in the X axis. So they want, to, they want us to decompose them on the Cartesian vector form. So let's just start with F of one. So for F of one, we're gonna use uh, similar triangles. So, this is the triangle they're giving us that it measures five, four, three, three, four, five triangle. And it's gonna have a similar triangle which its hypotenuse is equal to 50 Newtons. So, if we follow that, this is gonna be 50 Newtons and the hypotenuse it's going to be 40 newtons in the y direction and 30 newtons on the x direction. So basically, f of 1 is going to be, I'm going to put a bracket in here, 30 newtons in the x direction, the i direction, plus 40 newtons, not 40, uh, newtons, 40 in the j direction. And all this is in Newton. So this is how we are going to write the Cartesian vector form, okay? Let's do f of two. So for f of two, what we're gonna use is trigonometry with, uh, with the angles. So basically we have this angle over here, we have this triangle, and we have the angle. So the opposite in this case is the x direction which is not going this way, oh my bad. It's going this way. So, if we want to know, for example, the x direction, f of two in the x direction, is going to be its hypotenuse, 80 newtons, multiplied by the sine of 15 degrees. Okay, if we use a calculator, we'd go 18 sine of 15, um, it's going to be equal to 20.7 newtons, okay? If we're going to do f of 2 in the y direction, uh, this guy should be negative because it's going left. In the y direction, it should be negative 2, but it's going to be 80 cosine of 50, 15 degrees, and that's going to be 80 cosine of 15 it's going to be negative 77.3 newtons. Okay? Now, the last one and the easier one is f of 3, which everything is going in to the right, so in the x direction. So basically, it, this is going to be 30 in the i direction uh, newtons. Okay? Uh, I forgot to write f of 2. So if we totally write f of 2, this is going to be equal to the bracket and we get negative 20.7 in the i direction minus 77.3 7 sorry, in the j direction and all of this is in newtons, okay? Now, they want us to find the magnitude of the resultant and also its direction. So in order to find the resultant, we're going to add all these. So R in the X direction is going to be F of 1 in the X direction. So 30 plus F of 2 in the X direction, which is negative, negative 20.7 plus 30 of f of 3. Okay, and this will give us 16 minus 20.7, which is 39.3 newtons. 
and it's positive so it's going up uh, i'm sorry it's going to the right now if we do r in the y direction we're gonna have f of one which is positive 40 minus f of 2y which is negative 77.3 and this will give us 37 negative 37.3 newtons okay uh, after having this we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem in order to find the hypotenuse or the magnitude so r the magnitude is going to be the square root of 39.3 squared plus 37.3 squared. Using our calculator, we get that. Let's see, 39.3 squared plus 37.3 squared. Everything under the square root, and this will give me 54.2 newtons. Okay, so this is one of the, our answers. And they wanted to know the direction measured clockwise from the positive x axis. So if it's clockwise, it's going to be like that. So let's draw the, hypo the, the resultant first. So the resultant looks something really similar to, so negative 37, so it's around like this direction. And they want us to find the angle clockwise from the x positive x axis. So this angle from there to here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a theta. Let's call this angle theta because we wanna know. It's going to be the inverse tangent of the opposite, which is the y value, the opposite. And then the y value is 37.3 divided by the 39.3 and then using our calculator we will find out what that is so basically theta is going to be equal to inverse tangent of 37.3 divided by 39.3 it's equal to 43.5. So the answer is going to be 43.5 degrees. Okay? So these are going to be your answers. So this, this one, this one, this one too, this one, and this one for the result okay so that was it for this video thank you guys so i'll see you guys in the next video